Hi there, Angela Bishop from Network 10 Australia. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, when you knew you had people of the, of the talents of, of Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron, the amazing Kiala Settle, um, Michelle Williams, you know, everyone in the Kazindaya, uh, being bringing your songs to life. Were you pretty relaxed about the, uh, <laughs> the, the future of this film? And congratulations on being number one on the Billboard Top 200 too with the soundtrack. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, yeah, no, that was quite intimidating actually to have those. I mean, in one sense you're thinking, okay, good, well our, our songs will be in great hands because these are not only great film stars, but they're true legitimate musical theater actors who have been in live shows and can sing and dance and act, but um, also it, it made us very intimidated to think that we had to write something that was, it all, it all of a sudden made it very real that we would be writing something that Hugh would sing, that Zach would sing, but it also gave us a lot of parameters as writers because we could sort of immediately write something and then test it in our heads. Like, did, would Hugh sound good writing that or singing that or, or, like, or not? It was sort of the litmus test to, to be able to write for those actors, which is a real gift. Hi, congratulations, guys. Um, you've had an incredible, well, now it's a new year, but an incredible year with the Oscars and the Tonys and now this. Um, what has that run felt like? And then what's next for both of you? Um, it's been very surreal. And I guess to, to I guess cap it, we, the first person that we saw after we won was Emma Stone was coming to present her award. And we got to give her a big hug. And it felt like a really full circle, amazing moment. Um, so. It's, it's been incredible. I guess we're just focused on writing new musicals, um, and we feel like this is giving us permission to keep doing that, and it's a real uh, source of encouragement, and we just really appreciate that musicals are something that audiences are embracing again and that they want to come and see, and we feel very, very lucky that we get to be among the writers that are uh, creating them today. Gentlemen over here on your right, um, what specifically, congratulations first to both of you, but what specific about Kayala's story inspired you to write that song? Well, you know, um, uh, Kayala was in the workshops of this uh, musical every, sort of every single step of the way, um, and never expecting to be in the movie itself, and we sort of always hoped she would be, but never really thought she would either, that we figured they'd find, go and find a big movie star to play the role. Um, but the song was written for a different character. It was a different song. It was for Tom Thumb in the movie. And then there was a final workshop of the film where we had to write a new song, and the idea was to write it for the bearded lady. So as we wrote every music, piece of music and lyric in that song, we wrote it with Keala in mind and sort of who she is. She's an incredibly confident, um, uh, uh, inspiring person who so very much owns who she is and, and has had a little bit of a winding uh, path to, to where she is now. And, it, that resonated with us so much, and it's such a huge thrill to see her actually go all the way through and, and get to be performing it on the big screen. You said that uh, you wanted to thank audiences for coming back to the big screen and seeing musicals again. You guys wrote this before you wrote La La Land, so it was a huge risk. Yeah. Was there a concern that the movie musical was dead, and do you feel now vindicated that maybe people are <laughs> going to see original um, movie musicals again? Well, I know that before uh, the the Greatest Showman, while we were working on it, they would always say that the first, or the last original movie musical that got made, I think was in Newsies. For live action. For live action. Or, or Enchanted also kind of. Right, so well. it, it felt like a really big risk and it took a really long time in development to actually make it happen. And I think thanks to Damien Chazelle and his beautiful vision, I think that gave the, the studio more confidence that audiences might uh, come and see a musical. And but also, we, thankfully, you know, we, we think about Lin-Manuel Miranda, uh, the Lopez's, and I mean, a lot of, they've written shows that have really transcended popular culture and just become part of mainstream culture, and, and that really, I think, opened the, the gates back up to people thinking it wasn't the least cool thing in the world to like a musical and come see a musical. Um, Julia Pierpont from Xinhua News of China. This this film is so much about inclusion and diversity and really accepting yourself for who you are. Can you just talk a little bit about the process that you went through in, in mining that and bringing it into music? Yeah, absolutely. Again, I would say Keala was a big inspiration and a lot of the actors in the film who played uh, these oddities, people who had been kept in the shadows their whole lives and through the process of being part of the circus, they came out of the shadows and they forced themselves to be seen and we really sparked to what that meant and tried to get inside the heads of those characters and we're really inspired by stories, real stories of, of people who, uh, who have experienced those kinds of personal journeys. So that really inspired the songwriting process.